Hey guys, what's up? I hope you have a wonderful day. Today we're gonna be watching some more Avatar The Last Airbender. In this setting we're gonna be watching episode 17 and 18, so in the next video we only need to watch 19 and 20 to finish off book one. I'm so excited. Episode 18 is titled... Episode 17 is titled The Northern Air Temple. Okay, we've already visited the, the Southern Air Temple, right? Went and discovered the genocide that happened to his people. I don't want to get my hopes up, but can it be possible that there's maybe some airbenders left who somehow managed to hide from the Fire Nation and survived until now? I really hope that's the case, seriously. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Long ago, the four, four nations lived together in harmony. A member of a secret group of airwalkers who laugh at gravity. Airwalkers? Are we talking about Anne? Your story's the best? Was it realistic? Is that how it was back then? I laugh at gravity all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it means a lot to hear airbender stories. It must have been a hundred years ago your great-grandpa met them. What are you prattling about, child? Great-grandpappy saw the airwalkers last week. Am I right? Do you think we'll really find airbenders? You want me to be like you or totally honest? Are you saying I'm a liar? I'm saying you're an optimist. Same thing, basically. Okay, bisons. Bi oh no, I thought they were bisons. They really are airbenders. No, they're not. Gliding maybe, but not flying. You can tell by the way they move, they're not airbending. Those people have no spirit. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is cool. <laughs> that kid seemed pretty spirited. <laughs> and he took it personally. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. But I could do more than fancy gliding. I mean, how can you top that? Wow! I don't think I can do that. But here's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Bender. You must be the Avatar. That's amazing. I, I've heard stories about you. Thanks. Wow, this glider chair is incredible. You'd think this is good. Wait until you see the other stuff my dad designed. I feel like they totally transformed the place. Aang used to come here a long time ago. I think he's a little shocked it's so different. So better? This is supposed to be the history of my people. Uh, they totally violated his culture, poor thing. I'm sure some parts of the temple are still the same. It's nice to see at least one part of the temple that isn't ruined. Look out! Oh my god. Don't you know enough to stay away from construction sites? We have to make room for the bathhouse. Do you know what you did? You just destroyed something sacred for a stupid bathhouse! Ah! He really got angry. What are you doing? Who said you could be here? My people became refugees after a terrible flood. My infant son, Teo, was badly hurt and lost his mother. The settlers. I needed somewhere to rebuild. Then... I came across these fan-like contraptions. Our gliders. Yes, they gave me an idea. Build a new life for my son. We're just in the process of improving upon what's already here. And after all, isn't that what nature does? I mean, I get it. The issue is whether it's more important to preserve culture, preserve people. But what I mean, at least, like, respect the culture. There got to be a balance between, you know, improving people's lives and preserving history. There must be a middle ground between living in the past and completely 
all those in it. I mean, especially temples, they are suppo supposed to be sacred places. So, but man, Saka and Katara getting emotional here in the story. <laughs> That's funny. And Anne is like... Nature knows where to stop. Exactly, yeah. I just can't get over it. There's not a single thing that's the same. I don't know about that. The temple might be different, but the creatures that live here are probably direct descendants of the ones that lived here a long time ago. Besides, there is one part of the temple that oh, hasn't changed Oh, and? It's just like the one in the other air temple. Only yeah. in the air So inside, it's completely untouched. Always wondered what it was like in there. I'm sorry. This is the last part of the temple that's the same as it was. I want it to want stay to open that it. Way. Yeah. I completely understand. Oh, and I love that the kid, I'm not sure if they said his name already. You know, I love that he understood where, you know, Anne is coming from. It must really suck watching all your heritage getting erased bit by bit. First the people, then the culture. Like, even I'm feeling bad watching it. How is a 12 years old is supposed to handle this? Why would you want to use fireflies for light? Fireflies are a non-flammable light source. Cover your nose and hold your breath. <laughs> Love how Sokka, you know, immediately just became his apprentice. <laughs> it's filled to the brim with natural gas. Came across it my first time here. Unfortunately, I was carrying a torch at the time. Oh my god. From time to time, we have gas leaks, and they're nearly impossible to find. So this place is an explosion waiting to happen. Until I figure out how to locate something I can't see, hear, smell, or touch. I've changed my mind. I think I was born without that something. <laughs> impossible. Everybody has it. Spirit. That's the something you're talking about. Yeah, I suppose it is. Oh. <laughs> She did it anyway. I would all turn to laughter very quick. Keep your mouth closed so you don't swallow a bug. <laughs> Mom was like, that's exactly what I'm here for. Even though Teo's not an airbender, he, really he definitely has, has the spirit. spirits. I've been thinking, if you want to see what's in that room, I'd be happy to open the door for you. Oh, really? I hope we're not gonna regret it, seriously. Oh, don't worry, that experiment's old. And that egg was just part of last week's lunch. Oh. Weak old egg smell. Quick, find that egg. How can something that's so small you can't even see it make such a big stink? That's the solution to our problem. The gas will mix with the smell of rotten eggs. Then if there's a leak, you smell you rotten You can smell eggs. it. You're, You're a genius. genius. Something's wrong. I've got to go. It's because of Anne? Excuse me, this is the Fire Nation. This is a nightmare. You're making weapons for the Fire Nation. And how did he get the door open? Explain all this, now. It was about a year after we moved here. Fire Nation soldiers found our settlement. They were going to destroy everything, burn it to the ground. I pleaded with them, I begged them to spare us. They asked what I had to offer. I offered my services. You must understand, I did this for you. When are they coming? Soon. If I don't give them what they want, they will destroy this place. How can I be proud of you when your inventions are being used for murder? I need some time to think. You need to leave. Go! We're not leaving. Then hide, quickly. Give me what you owe us so I can be on my way. The deal's off. If I don't get what I came for, the Fire Nation will burn this place to rubble. Get out of here! <clears throat> Aang, what are we gonna do? How can we possibly keep them all away? We have something they don't. Air power. We control the sky. That's something the Fire Nation can't do. That's the part that I don't understand. The actual airbenders controlled the sky and still got wiped out by the Fire Nation. I mean, we still don't know how they did it. I want to help. Good. We'll need it. We finally got the war balloon working thanks to Sokka. This boy's a genius. Thank you. You're a genius.
Thank you. I feel like Sokka is the avatar of non-bending. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. I'm so yeah, proud. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we got four kinds of bombs. Smoke, slime, fire, and... Stink. Never underestimate the power <laughs> of stink. <laughs> you never do that. Are we ready? Yes, but where's Sokka with the war balloon? We'll have to start without it. My god, I got really scared. What the hell is that? Okay, this is actually crazy. <gasps> well, I see now how they can destroy a freaking air temple. supposed to be heavy right i think i know how they work i remember my dad tinkering with a counterbalancing system something to do with water can you get me close to one seriously no okay katara i love when katara gets to join the action oh my god appa i'm just scared for appa seriously it was too close to getting injured. Where's that war balloon? <laughs> hey, why aren't they shooting at us? <laughs> because because of the flag. They think you're on their side. The insignia. The insignia. They think we're on their side. Then I guess they won't see this coming. Exactly. <laughs> Wait a second. You smell that? Rotten eggs! There! That's where the gas is escaping! What are you doing? That's our fuel source! It's the only bomb we've got! Oh my god! Look! They're retreating! I mean, they have to! Glad you guys all live here now. I realize it's like the hermit crab. Maybe you weren't born here, but you found this empty shell in yeah. your home. It's their home now, but still, they have to respect the culture. Aang, you were right about air power. As long as we've got the skies, we'll have the Fire Nation on the run. They're gonna try again. It's not over. This defeat is the gateway to many victories. Oh no. They have it now. They can replicate it. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay, they don't have air superiority, but that war balloon is a pretty strong weapon in their hands. Like they can use it to mass produce more and it's bad. Like that look on the inventor's face, like it says it all, that's not over. They're gonna go back again, and the Avatar won't be there this time to help them. The episode did such a great job at showing how Anne felt about his culture being destroyed, as well as, you know, cultural change in general. I'm not okay with new people remodeling sacred space but i get the point of the settlers you know that it's their home now but still it's necessary to show respect you know also i love tio i feel like they've wrote his character so well he's calm confident brave and kind he is empathetic to Anne's emotions and also i love how they wrote his visibility you know like it's part of his life but not a main focus like he's fleshed out as a person and they did a lot with him in 20 minutes 
he can't walk, but so what? He can fly. So what matters is him as a person, you know? I love that. I feel like I'm not getting enough Zuku in eyebrow lately. And I'm kind of sad about that. I hope we're going to see them in the next episode. Okay, the next one is titled... The Water Bending Master. Look, we're all just a little tired and cranky because we've been flying for two days straight. And for what? We can't even find the Northern Water Tribe. There's nothing up here. Ah! No, no, someone is doing this. I feel someone is definitely doing this. They're Don't tell me we finally made it. The water tribe. After 18 episodes, we finally made it. To the North Pole, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a long travel from south to north. But how can you do Alpha this dirty? Come on. He's heading north. The Northern Water Tribe. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go get him! Patience, Captain Lee. This isn't some little earth village we can just march into. He's the one talking the water about tribe patience? Is a great nation. There's a reason they've survived a hundred years of war. The landscape itself oh. is an icy fortress. We'll need a massive invasion force. Oh my god. North it's a whole fortress. Tribe. Not like the southern. We'll find me here. More people live here, maybe? This is cool. I can't believe how many waterbenders live up here. Oh. Up, are you not cold? This is. It's beautiful. This place is beautiful. Yeah. She is. Oh, okay. Don't ruin this moment, please, Zhao. I need a couple of Uncle Arrow in the Hot Tees concert tickets, please. Ugh, oh, he's totally going to ruin this beautiful moment. Tonight, we celebrate the arrival of our brother and sister from the Southern Tribe. And okay. they have brought with them someone very special. The Avatar. Yeah. We also celebrate my daughter's 16th birthday. Princess Here Yue she is. is now of marrying age. Sokka, and I took that personally. Hi there. Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. Very nice to meet you. You're a princess, huh? You know, back in my tribe, I'm kind of like a prince myself. Uh, prince of what? Meet your newest student, the Avatar. Just because you're destined to save the world, don't expect any special treatment. Fair. My friend and I can't wait to start training with you. There's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we have. I'm taking your crew. A what? really short-tempered problem. Expedition to the North Pole. Is he really gonna use his men to capture the Avatar? That's, yeah, very disrespectful. Oh. Seriously? I didn't know uh -oh. you were skilled with broadswords, Prince Zuko. I'm not. Uh oh. They're antiques. Have you heard of the blue spirit, General Iroh? Just rumors. I don't think he is real. He's real, all right. He's a criminal and an enemy of the Fire Nation. But I have a feeling Shh. justice will catch up with him soon. General Iroh, the offer to join my mission still stands. Okay, his shop. Iroh never abandoned Zuko. I've waited for this day my whole life. I finally get to learn from a real waterbending master. This is my friend, Katara. The one I told you about? You didn't tell me your friend was a girl. In our tribe, it is forbidden for women to learn waterbending. Excuse me? Girls are born with waterbending ability for a reason. If this is only a boy kind of thing, how could girls be born with this ability too? But there must be other female waterbenders in your tribe. Exactly. Here, the women learn from Yagoda to use their waterbending to heal. I'm sure she would be happy to take you as her student. I don't want to heal. I want to fight. I can see that. 
but our tribe has customs. Well, your customs are bad. They're not fair. If you won't teach Katara, then... Then what? Then I won't learn from you. Well, have fun teaching yourself. I'm sure you'll do a great job. You can't risk your training for me. And you know what? Learn from him and then teach Katara. This explains Sokka's previous way of thinking. You know, it explains his previous sexism. I understand that they have their ways and this is how it's always been, but things have changed and they are at war now, you know? They need all the help they can get. Hey, how about that picnic last night? Sokka, what happened to maintaining maximum aloofness? So I'm still Ooh. hoping we can see more of each other. Do an activity, you mean? I'd love to. I'll meet you on that bridge tonight. Great! I'll see you now! <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. It was worth it. Okay, Sokka. He's discovering the risen just being himself. You all seem highly qualified for the mission I have in mind. I believe you're acquainted with Prince Zuko. Maybe that move is too advanced for you. Why don't you try an easier one? Damn, he's so annoying. So who's the lucky boy? Huh? Your betrothal necklace. You're getting married, right? Betrothal? No, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. My grandmother gave my mother this necklace, and my mother passed it down to me. I recognize this carving. I don't know why I didn't realize sooner. You're the spitting image of Kana. I was friends with Kana. She was born here in the Northern tribe. Your grandmother had an arranged marriage with a young waterbender. He carved that necklace for her. If Grand Grand was engaged, why did she leave? I don't know. She left without saying goodbye. Oh, really? It's a lovely night for a walk. Why don't you join me? It would clear your head. Or just stay in your room and sit in the dark. Whatever makes you happy. What now is Zhao planning for for uh, for Zuko? Careful with the blasting jelly. Blasting. Uncle, is that you? Are they trying to blow up the ship? With Zuko in it. That's an assassination attempt. I get that he discovered that he's the, the blue spirit, but like he's still, yeah, he's banished, but he's still a prince. A prince of your nation. What? Zhao is very dangerous. I'm not even sure if he survived that. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have asked you to come here. What the hell just happened? I'm still shook. So how's waterbending training? Master Poophead won't teach her because she's a girl. Why don't you just teach her, Aang? Exactly! At night, you can teach me whatever moves you learn from Master Paku. Exactly! Happy, happy! Happy, happy. happy! But you're never happy. Come on, Aang. Master Paku said this move is all about sinking and floating. I got it! I was just showing Katara a few moves. You have disrespected me, my teachings, and my entire culture. You are no longer welcome as my student. Excuse me? You are aware there is a massive genocidal war going on, right? Teaching the Avatar water bending is probably the most important thing you ever do. I don't get it, man. I suspect he might change his mind if you swallow your pride and apologize to him. I'm waiting, little girl. No. No way am I apologizing to a sour old man like you! I'll be outside if you're man enough to fight me. <gasps> I'm 
sure she didn't mean that. Yeah, I think she did. Yep. I'm Katara. To hear about Prince Zuko. I'm sorry. The Fire Lord will not be pleased when he learns who was responsible. What happened to Zuko? Was behind the attack. Pirates. We had a run-in with them a while back. They wanted revenge. It will be an honor to serve as your general. Arrow. To the Fire Nation. What the hell's going on? Aren't you gonna fight? Go back to the healing huts with the other women where you belong. Yes. You want to learn to fight so bad? Yes. Study closely. I know there's no way she would be able to 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 beat him, but we at least need to try to teach this stubborn man a lesson. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You can't knock me down. Go, Katara. Go, go, Katara, go. I mean, you gotta respect her dedication. She realized she was outmatched, so she straight up tried to punch him instead. <laughs> oh my god! That thing got to be very sharp. She is flat out trying to kill him, throwing them razor sharp discs. Gotta admit, that's impressive. You, you should are be an excellent waterbender. But you still won't teach me, will you? No. And considering that she's self-thought the necklace! She just got it back. Oh my god. He's ruthless. This fight is over. Come back here. I'm not finished yet. Yes, you are. This is my necklace. I He's made the this 60 years ago for the love of my life. <laughs> well, no wonder she left without saying goodbye. I mean, he's not that bad. He's a stubborn old jerk, but he's not that bad. Our plan is working perfect. Kizuko, don't tell me he got burned even more. He already has been through enough and got all the scars to prove it. Our plan is working perfectly. Zhao doesn't suspect a thing. You didn't have to do this. No, okay. nephew of mine is going to stow away on a ship without some backup. Thank you, uncle. Someone's coming. I'm not sure how he survived that, but... Stay hidden until we get to the North Pole and the Avatar will be yours. Good luck. Oh, Arrow. He was indifferent to the capture of Avatar before, but he sure isn't now. I loved her. But she didn't love you, did she? It was an arranged marriage. Grand Grand wouldn't let your tribe's stupid customs run her life. <laughs> Go get her. You're a princess, and I'm... I'm just a southern peasant. No, Sokka... It's okay. You don't have to say anything. Okay, now I'm really <laughs> confused. I do like you. A lot. Okay! But we can't be together. And not for the reason you think. It's because... I'm engaged. Oopsie... Oopsie. Ugh, arranged marriages. Oh. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Keep practicing and maybe you'll get it by the time you're my age. I mean, who thought his attitude has changed? What do you think you're doing? It's past sunrise. You're late. Okay. So now that she's the granddaughter of your... Uh... Once lover, you agree to teach her? Oh man, I feel like the next two episodes are gonna be crazy. Loved Katara this episode. A perfect example of how to make an awesome, powerful female character tackling issues of sexism without, you know, 
without destroying the world building or making it, you know, unbelievable. You don't need to win a fight or be naturally superior to every other person in the world to make a change. All you need to do is to stand up for what you believe is right with everything you've got. She fared well against a seasoned master when she's completely self-taught. That's impressive. And also, I love that instead of simple fire nation all bad, water nation all good, we spend some time seeing the bad side in the Northern Water Tribe. It's not really bad, but you know, like, namely their patriarchal costumes, arranged marriages, limiting uh, females to healers. It's their tradition, their custom. It's all what they've known up to this point, but it adds some complexity and depth to the, to the world building. Also, what I love about this show is that we have all these moral dilemmas almost every episode, and that's really great. Just one question. What would have Master Paku done if the avatar, the current avatar, happened to be a girl? Would he refuse uh, to, to train the avatar and save the world due to his customs? Also, can avatar be born as a girl? I'm not sure if they've tackled this before, like, are all the previous avatars males? I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyways, guys, great two episodes. Love them very much. Thank you for watching. I'll be doing my reaction and see you in the next video.